Hey everybody, welcome to Moodle lesson number 14 for my personal wellness and let's take a quick look at what we're doing today. Um, we're going to be introducing some food label concepts in a fit chart. The fit chart is going to be the uh, video that you've just seen, so we've already done that. Um, we're going to look at some food labels and we're suggesting that you go to a website called quitehealthy.com to get some examples of that. And then we're going to change the layout of our website to um, put some of these pictures on our food labels page. So let's get started. So first thing I want to do is just take a look at our food labels document. You should be uh, entering your information into this using your two food labels and newfound knowledge and nutrition. Answer the following questions. Um, so you're going to be doing that as well as uh, just making sure that you have shared this. Uh, as always, you have to make sure that you've shared your documents with us. Um, the reason why I keep bringing this up is a lot of people have not shared it with 2015 MPW. So please make sure that you just, it's a very quick check each time you work with the document. So make sure it's shared with 2015 MPW. All right, so where are we going today? Let's go to our food labels page of our website. And we previously asked you guys to insert a document called 2015 Food Labels with your last name and your first initial. Um, we're going to add some more elements to that page and we're going to click on the edit button and we're going to change that layout to one of our favorite layouts that we've used before and that layout is the one column. And we've used one column, it's simple as a default, but we're going to change it to one column and again this is going to give us an ability to add some more stuff to this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you can notice that in this lower section I have a Google document. In this upper section we're actually going to add a table, which is something we haven't done before. We're going to click on table, I'm going to hit insert table, and I'm going to ask that you guys, we're asking that you insert a 2 by 2 table. Now why do we do this? Well what we're going to do is we're going to put a label here um, our, our unhealthy snack and our healthy snack and we're going to put two images right below. So in this top left hand corner you're going to put in unhealthy just type unhealthy snack and in the right hand top right hand column we're going to type in your healthy snack. Now you may want to put additional information in there. You may say your unhealthy snack and whatever food it is, your healthy snack, whatever food it is. Sometimes it may speak for itself, sometimes it may not. So you do want to put a nice description in there and obviously you're going to be answering the question in there. So how do we actually get the photos into this and where we're going to go for our food labels? So the first link that we're going to do as we put this in the Moodle is a website called Quite Healthy. Um, it's a nice website that's got a lot of different um, foods you can get food and nutrition facts listed by brand now unfortunately they don't have every brand here but they go from A to about K um, but you can pretty much find all of them underneath where it says food and nutrition facts for generic food items so they're gonna have everything fruits vegetables cookies um, you can pretty much click on just about anything so I'm gonna select my healthy snack first and I'm gonna click on carrots and you're gonna find that each additional page has got some more descriptors so you can do something that's canned, boiled, frozen, raw, um, baby raw, um, you get the idea. So be as descriptive as possible when you're selecting this so get something that's close. So I'm gonna go with um, let's do raw, baby raw carrots, little ones and I've got a picture right here so I actually want to take this picture, this image right here, and insert it into my website. Um, we're going to, instead of using the snipping tool for this one, we're going to give you another skill. We're going to right click on that, and this is, happens to be a picture, and we're going to save the image as, and I'm going to save it to my U drive. So if you're at home, you'd have to save this to your desktop. So this one, in this case, you'd save it, and I'm going to just save it as carrots, and again, and that's in my U drive. Okay? And you're going to do the same thing for your, your healthy and your unhealthy snack. Um, again, label it. You know, sometimes it comes up with some funky name, so at least you know what you're going to get. Okay. Let's say you wanted to go out and find a picture for our, uh, Doritos Cool Ranch. You just do a Google image search and basically find a food label. And again, remember the nutrition facts don't really say what food it is. Um, this one happens to have a picture next to it, but make sure that you save the file um, so it does make sense so that when you're actually inserting the picture, you know which one is which. Um, this one's got a little bit more detail on that. And um, we're just suggesting, again, go to Quite Healthy first, and you should be able to find out your, your, um, 
your healthy and your unhealthy snacks. But if you can't find it and you really want to get a picture of it, just do a Google image search for uh, nutrition facts for your particular food. So let's go back to our website and now we're going to insert our images. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's just click on the healthy snack and I'm going to click up here where it says insert. I'm going to go to the top part where it says image and I've actually uploaded some of these before so it may automatically populate. Let's see if it takes time. Hopefully it's going to go through. Maybe I'll try this again. Insert image and it doesn't look like it's working. So that's not too cool. Uh, open it back up again. There we go. You guys are very patient on that. I'm not going to edit it out. But here I go. I've uploaded two images before. You just click on upload image or you can browse back to your U drive. And there we go. I'm going to click on my carrots. I'm going to hit OK. And there it is. It took a lot of time. So hopefully uh, you guys were very patient during that or actually did some work. So on the right hand side I've got a healthy snack and I'm going to just put on there carrots so I know what it is and on the left hand side I'm gonna insert my unhealthy snack image so again let's see if it doesn't take too much time image and then hopefully it's already uploaded but you guys get the idea looks like my browser is taking forever okay that wasn't too bad I'm clicking on this one I'm hitting OK and then it should get inserted without any problem at all okay may take a little time for it to go and there you go. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. On the top of your page, you've got your unhealthy snack. And oh, before I close out, let me label that. So that's Cool Ranch Doritos, one of my favorites. And I've got carrots off to the right hand side. And you're going to hit save. And basically, your document's going to be right underneath that. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Make sure that you answer all the questions on your food labels document. And hopefully you guys will have this um, done without too much of a problem. Okay? Happy analysis. Thanks.